Well, hi there, everybody. Good morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Friday morning, which uh, conditions are going downhill this morning. As winds get stronger and stronger today, fire weather issues are going to become a bigger concern over southeastern areas. A fire weather watch over southeast Nebraska and southwest Iowa until this evening. A red flag warning may be a little bit bigger concern for fire in northeast Kansas, including Republic County in our viewing area. Meanwhile, most of us just under high wind warning criteria, so no high wind warnings out, but we're close at least later today, I should say, especially towards this evening. Meanwhile, a winter weather advisory, these three counties here, Boyd, Brown, and Rock County, Rock, Brown County, and then Kippaw County and a winter storm warning, same with Cherry, back towards Sheridan and Dawes County, Northern Sioux County, and uh, Box Butte County on our winter weather advisory, but these will go till just after midnight tonight, uh, central time. And we could see a little bit of snow today in these locations, a blizzard warning just over the border into South Dakota, where it could be much, much worse up there. So here's our low pressure over northeast Nebraska. One trailing cold front pushing through eastern Nebraska. A second one diving southward. And it just gets colder and colder behind it. It's foggy. There's freezing drizzle this morning. And then there's the snow here to the north. Some of that moisture will get a little farther south. So there could be some snow. Not much accumulation, but blowing snow closer to I-80. We might get a little rain this afternoon in the Tri-Cities area. But most of the snow will be across the north. Winds are getting stronger. They will get much, much stronger later today. Look at those arrows later this afternoon out of the northwest. We could see gusts exceeding 45 miles per hour, maybe 50 miles per hour. A little bit of hit or miss moisture here. Light rain chance in the Tri-Cities, but the snow chance is mainly to the north. And that snow will last through about midnight or a little bit after that. The wind's still strong through the evening. Some of the strongest winds may come early evening right there, 7, 8 o'clock. We could see gusts exceed 55, or 50 miles per hour. They'll start to slowly come down later in the night and into tomorrow morning. A little bit lighter. Still breezy, but a little bit lighter tomorrow morning as skies clear up. A warm front will then lift northeastward tomorrow. That will allow for a nice little buildup of temperatures out there. Lots of sunshine expected. Winds then turn breezy tomorrow night out of the south and southeast. That's going to keep temperatures milder overnight. We'll keep it mostly sunny on Sunday and still a fairly mild day on Sunday, although this cold front will start to move in to the northwest, so it will be a little bit cooler here on Sunday. Snowfall total is not overly high up north. One, two, three inches of snow, maybe four inches, but the higher amounts just over the border. But the problem is that blowing snow is going to be a big problem in northern Nebraska today, especially as those winds get stronger and stronger. No severe weather threat for us for today, but I did want to take you to our east. There is a big time severe weather event that's going to be going on later today. A large enhanced risk in orange and then a couple of red areas under a moderate risk. One with a bigger tornado threat, I think, down here near Memphis, Tennessee. But there's also a tornado threat here in parts of Iowa and Illinois and northeast Missouri. Although there's also going to be a bigger hail threat and damaging wind gust threat with this moderate risk area here. But I had to show that real quick just because it could be a big severe weather day off to our east. These are your highs for today, but keep in mind, these are afternoon highs. Some of these in eastern Nebraska are actually this morning. Tri-Cities, we saw high earlier this morning in the low 60s. It's cooled off since then. But I want to show you a future temperatures map because this one brings a little more accuracy to the forecast. As temperatures drop in eastern Nebraska and then later this afternoon, temperatures will range from the 20s up north to the 50s in the south. We'll be low, mid, maybe upper 50s in the Tri-Cities area, or 40s, excuse me, in the Tri-Cities this afternoon. Maybe upper 40s. That's kind of a big maybe right now. Tonight, then, we'll drop back into the teens, or 20s, I mean, some teens off to the northwest. Tomorrow, though, improved, 50s and 60s for highs, and then tomorrow night, we're not as cold, 30s and 40s for lows with those breezier south winds. And then Sunday looks good for many of us, 60s and 70s out there, but some cooler 50s up north is a cold front will begin to uh, dive southward into our area during the day on Sunday. More of us will see chillier or cooler air, I guess, should say, on Monday of next week. So there's your summation of the next three days. Weekend much better than today. So the first weekend of April is looking good. Cooling down on Monday with breezier conditions. And then another big storm system on Tuesday brings stronger winds. On the warmer or milder side on Tuesday ahead of that system, uh, then we get the colder side of things on Wednesday on the back side of that system. I have re-included a chance of moisture for the Tri-Cities. I took it out of the forecast yesterday. Latest forecast models are now trending back towards maybe at least a little bit of rain, possibly then changing to snow Tuesday evening before it clears out. We probably won't see much in the Tri-Cities, but northwestern areas could get hit with some snow and blowing snow. Cold and windy on Wednesday, slightly better. Not as windy on Thursday, but still chilly for this time of the year. Temperatures will be then warming back up to more seasonable temperatures by the time we get towards 
Easter weekend. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this uh, Friday morning. I hope you have a good first weekend of April. Enjoy the milder weather ahead, and I'll see you all again on Monday. Take care, and God bless. Bye.